Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a camera which zooms into the survivors at the start of a map. So open up your map and place a entity of point underscore view control underscore multiplayer wherever you want the camera to start. Right, now for some reason, I don't know if it's just for me, but I have to point my camera to the left to go forward so where it is now you'll be able to see the side of the house so now that we've added this in place just open it up and give it a name so I'm going to name it intro underscore camera right so we're going to be pairing this to a track train so we'll do that in a minute so click on your text group browse and go to the no draw texture and just draw over the bottom of the camera and maybe a bit into it as well click enter, draw tie it to entity by clicking control and T and write in funk underscore track train right so we'll get a list of options now we need to change a few of these Right. So first things first, we need to change height of the track, which is by here, to nothing because I'm, it depends what you do. But for my example, I'm going to have no. And first stop target, I'm going to put to one because I'm going to call my track one, two, three, four until I get up to the survivors. Right, and that's really much all you need to do with that. Right, so click apply and there. So now we've got the camera in place, we need to create a path so we can go along. So click the Entity tool and write in the object path underscore track and place it over the starting position, which is right here. This map is just a scrap I put together by the way guys, there's nothing special. <laughs> Looks a bit stupid and all the props are taken out as well. So as you can see I've put this over the camera and I need to name this one because we said the first stop target is one and here we have next stop target which we we're going to put as two right so it's pretty simple from now because all you need to do is hold shift and drag it and keep doing that and it'll just move it along so as you can see I'm going to click shift and drag it forward and a line appears right here this means that it's going to go to the next place so now that we got this in place, all we need to do is just do it all the way up to the survivors. So I'm going to drag this out a bit. I'm going to hold shift again and make another path track. And that yellow line appears and goes with it. Now it may look a bit weird when it turns because it can look a bit stupid, but it should be okay. Right, now as you can see, sometimes this line can come across. This means that the next stop target is wrong. So just double click it, and it's got next stop target 2, we want 5. Because we haven't made it yet. Right, I'm going to do it through this, up to the door here. I'm going to add some height to lower it down a bit, so we're not going through the wall. We're actually going through the door. As you can see, it's next to the door now. I'm going to create another one going through the door. And then I'm going to create one going right a bit and then forward right so as you can see here we need to go to this last one and make sure no st next stop target is nothing because that's where it ends right so that's the track all done so as you can see it's going to move from here to here to here to here to here to here to there I'm just going to move this back a little bit Right, now the mine's quite long as you can see, so people have a shorter one so you don't have to keep waiting about 20 seconds for it to get to the end. But as for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you. Right. Right, so now that we got that in place, now we need to add some logic relays and triggers to get it working at the start of the map. So, first things first, make sure you have your info director in the map. Right. So, your info director I've called director. So, whatever you want to name yours, 
you can, but to keep it easy, I'd name it director. Click the entity tool, go to your objects, logic underscore relay, and put it next to your director. You can put it anywhere, but press to keep it all together. Double click this and put start disabled, yes. Right, now name your logic relay to something like um, I'm going to name it logic relay for this tutorial. Right, so now that we've got that in place, go to back to your director, go to your outputs, and click add on gameplay start, target entity named logic underscore relay via this input trigger and then click apply alright so now we need to go back to our logic relay go to your outputs tab again click add on trigger because this is what the director is triggering target entity name director force survivor positions and click apply now what that does, it basically puts the survivors in their positions as so it should look how they look there. Right, so we need to add a few more things onto this logic relay. So click add again, on trigger, target entity name, whatever you named our camera, which is intro camera, and click enable. So this is basically switching the camera on so you can't see the bots, so you'll be going through the camera. And also we need to trigger the tank train. So click add again, my output named on trigger, tag NC named, I think we called it track train, or, didn't we, or did we forget to name it? Yes it is. So go back to your track train guys and make sure you give that a name as well, which is the no draw texture thing. So give it a name, I'm going to name it track train. Close that, go back to your logic relay, double click it, outputs, so back to my output name on trigger, tag entity named, track train, via this input, set speed, or you can do start forward, but I'm going to do set speed, 64, uh, depending on what speed you want it to go at, but 64 is a good speed. Right, so that's what we need to do for that. Um, another thing you might want to do, because we need to unlock the survivors, so go to your last path, go to the outputs tab, and click add on pass director force survivor positions. No, sorry, release survivor positions. I click apply. So basically, when it gets to this path, all the survivors will be able to move. But to do this, we need to turn off the camera. So click add again, on pass, intro and score camera, disable. Now you may want to add some delays because otherwise, they'll hit that and it'll just turn off straight away. So let's say a four second delay. And for that one. And that's pretty much all you need to do for making a camera. Now you can do different cameras so they zoom into the individual bots but I'm going to keep it quite simple for now and just stick with this. So if I just place all my props back into the map on my funk detail and compile the map. Right so we're in game now. I usually don't show this but I'm going to have to do for this. Map, camera and it's going to start to load. So once it loads the camera should start as I've created no navigational meshes yet, it should say map is unplayable, but blah blah blah, you get the point. So once it loads, the camera should start, we should go towards the house and move into the survivor positions. And then when a four second delay happens, and this should unlock the survivor positions. Right, so as you can see, we're zooming into the map now. And it's going at a steady pace, it's a decent pace, so... Got my little burning car there. Don't ask why it's been I just felt like adding some fire. And we're just zooming in. <laughs> and as you can see, it's moving at a very steady space, speed. So you can speed it up if you really want to, but I like that speed. And it's going to zoom in here to our bots. And then it's released our positions. So thanks for watching, guys. And hope this has helped you. Good luck.